Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I wish we were standing here for a monthly safety stand down. Hey, quiet! Hey, bring it in over here. If I can't see it, move it in. <laughs> I wish I was standing here for a monthly safety stand down. Unfortunately, we lost one of our own in a tragic accident this Friday night. Chris Eric Hardy is 23 years old and died in a tragic accident on his way home. Anybody that's known Chris or worked with Chris was touched by him. There's something special about him that was different than anybody else. He was a first year apprentice with Team Stronghold. Casey was his foreman, and this led him probably the last half year yes, on building F and M. This was Chris's first job as an electrician. Loved Team Stronghold. Chris was only 23 years old, but acted like he had decades of wisdom and experience. He was a leader. He was genuine. He was a gentleman. He was driven to be the best or successful at whatever he did. Casey gave me an example this morning. If there's something to study, something to learn, he'd take it, he'd take it home that night and he'd master it. Not everybody does that. Most people take their time on the job training. It's just a job. Chris wanted to be the best at his trade. We're here to honor his life. We're here to celebrate his life. This young man was taken to us far too early. But there's some things to be learned about the way Chris led his life and what he did. I want to take about five minutes, and I want to tell you about this amazing man that I've grown to love and respect, unfortunately, too late. I wish I'd known him better. I wish I'd lived my life as full as this man. Talk about his parents. His father was a captain of the Redondo Beach Fire Department. And he retired two months ago to spend more time with his family. <coughs> He's got a younger sister that's 20, going to school at San Diego State. His mom's a respiratory respiratory therapist. Grew up in a loving family, a wonderful family. You can imagine how tragic this is for them. It will change their lives forever to lose somebody like Chris. Please keep their family, their loved ones in your prayers. This is going to change them forever. Different trades. Every day, someone's crossing each other, somebody's in somebody else's way. But you know, as a job, this is this opportunity to pull together, and take care of one another, take care of Team Stronghold, and do what we can to help Chris's family. You can't talk about Chris without talking about his willingness to give back. Not for his own good, but to make those around him a better person, or better people. He's gone overseas, he went to the Czech Republic to teach young kids how to speak English. He's been on missions with his church to Skid Row or to Watts. He was a camp counselor for his church for summer camps. I think one story I heard from Kevin, his uncle who's here, 
They gave him the special needs little boy. His parents were worried he wouldn't be able to make it through this camp, but because of Chris's gentleness, this little boy made it through the whole camp and had a blast. Chris has been to Normandy, to France, to honor those that gave their life for the country. This isn't just ordinary stuff, guys. I haven't done these great things. This was an amazing man that we all ask ourselves, why, why did God take this guy, you know, such a great human being? And you know, maybe when I go to the pearly gates, or you do, you'll figure it out. But the best I can tell you right now is he's given us an example to live by. And I'm sure if Chris could talk to us right now, he's saying, use this, however tragic and painful and costly, it's unnecessary, but use his life in his example. Not just how full he lived his life, it's with your family, it's with your job, life can end like that. It's also a reminder, from the time you leave your door till the time you get home to your door, you got to be aware, you got to do everything you can to be safe. This is not Chris's fault. It was a tragic accident, and truly an accident. But it's a, it's a reminder for all of us. So, Chris's father retired as a captain, and on the mantle is his fire hat, his helmet, that everybody signed when he retired. The family was very touched that the job has done this. And this is going to go on the mantle next to his father's helmet. His family doesn't need money. But they probably don't want our money. They just want their son back. But as a gesture to the family and respect to Chris because he deserves it, we're going to pass this hat. Last quick story about Chris, Casey shared with me this morning. There's a stronghold employee that's been stage four cancer. Not much we can do about it, not much anybody can do about it. And Chris doesn't know this man. He didn't know him, but one morning the job passed the hard hat. Chris pulled out $100 and put it in the hard hat. He makes far less than anybody else on the crew. He's a first-year apprentice. That's the kind of guy Chris was. <coughs> so, Chris, I got you, man. Right back at you. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs>